<laughs> we're going to Sloth's breakfast today and we're really excited and I'm gonna cry a lot. So yay! For those of you that don't know about Sloth breakfast, um, the Franklin Park Zoo in Boston does it and it's like $25 for a ticket and if you love Sloth, it's an exciting experience. Um, they also do other breakfasts too. I think they do like breakfast with a gorilla and a red panda, but I did not do those because I did sloths. And for those of you that don't know, I heckin' love sloths. They are my favorite animal and I would do anything for a sloth. They're just so great. I just, they're just so sweet and they don't do much. And they're just great. I love sloths. I am passionate about my sloths. Ugh. Sloth breakfast was great because I got to see a sloth. On a side note, uh, I did not realize that my lens was smudged until um, I started editing this, so I'm very sorry about that. And anyway, with Sloth Breakfast, um, a zoo employee came to meet you, and she does kind of show us around the zoo a bit here, because um, you do have to walk through the zoo to get where the sloth exhibit is, which was kind of cool. I was very excited about it, because I love zoos. And the only downside about Sloth Breakfast is that you do have to pay for the zoo admission ticket. So if you do want to go to the zoo, um, you just, you got to pay for it, which is kind of, which is kind of sad. Um, but anyway, walking through the zoo was pretty fun. I had a great time and we got to see hyenas and birds and what else did we see? We saw a whole bunch of animals on our walk in there, which was great. So on the walk to where Sloth Breakfast was, we did get to see the gorillas. They were not supposed to be awake because apparently they're grumpy in the morning because they're relatable animals. But anyway, um, they were awake and they were eating and they were so funny. And we got to watch them for a few minutes because our tour guide was great and let us do that. Um, they were just kind of eating their breakfast and stuff and then there's like a pretty grumpy gorilla He's the daddy gorilla and he's right here with the blanket because you know relatable and We're not really sure why they were woken up. The zoo lady was kind of Confused, but I was I was here for the gorillas. They were so funny have enamel on them. It's actually one of the reasons that we don't generally go in with our sloths and we don't do like sloth cuddling like you might have seen on some videos and photos um, because their teeth don't have enamel so if they were to bite us it's a very 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 bad bite because there's lots of bacteria that's soaked into those teeth that then go into us. Um, but because they don't have enamel their teeth actually wear down to what they're eating. So a sloth that eats mostly sweet potato is going to have much different teeth to a sloth that eats mostly leaves. Oh, it's crock boy. <gasps> So this was the little sloth we got to see. Uh, she is a two-toed Linnaean sloth, I think I said that right. And she was so precious. And she was actually very active when we were there, which was great, because the zoo keeper who works with her said that we got her at a great time because she's pretty much just gonna take a nap until her dinner time, which is much later. So as you can see, she's kind of zooming around, doing her own thing. And I'm just going to let you guys enjoy watching her climb around and do her thing. Oh, and her name was Maxine, and she has a brother who also lives at the zoo.
we finished sloth breakfast and it was great. They didn't bring the sloth out like on like a stick cart thing that you see in like other sloth experiences. But she was really active and she was zooming and so I guess that's all I can ask for. And now we're just waiting for an Uber. It was pretty cute. It was it very was very cute. cute. She they have tiny heads though. I was not expecting that. And big teeth. Yeah, really big teeth. And it's